Hi guys, I want to leech a uh, nutrification. So in our previous videos, we were covering the nutrient cycle and the uses of the fertilizer. So now we will be looking at the environmental issues which arise from the use of fertilizers, which include leaching and nutrification. So, in, uh, so to summarize, the issues are concerned about leaching of nutrients. So for example, the rain could wash the water-soluble compounds out of the soil into water weights, so for example, rivers. So this, uh, this takes place uh, really often when the fertilizers were added to the field. And obviously this will lead to eutrophication then because uh, leaching uh, less likely with natural is, is, is common, uh, less like, is actually less likely, sorry, with natural fertilizers. So the nitrogen and phosphorus contained in organic molecules which are less soluble. So look, we uh, need to focus on the words like soluble in this topic. Uh, in water are so to be decomposed by before nitrogen and phosphorus are released. So they can also reduce species diversity. So the favor fast growing plants, uh, then obviously slower growing plants lose out. So they are outcompeted, leading to less uh, organisms who feed on them. So what is leaching? So leaching is the process uh, by which nutrients are removed from the soil and this is mainly due to rain. Okay, so the rainwater dissolves any soluble nutrients uh, like nitrate ions and carry them deep into the soil, so beyond the reach of the plant roots. So they might enter water courses, also drain into fresh water and that will lead to pollution of water courses. So the high concentration of nitrate ions in drinking water, for example, will prevent efficient oxygen transport in babies, will lead to uh, stomach cancer in humans, and it's harmful to the environment because it's causing eutrophication. So in terms of the leaching, the main questions asking you here to describe how the nitrogen containing substances will get into lake. So they will dissolve, so what we were talking about, soluble, not soluble, so they will dissolve in soil water runoff and cause leaching. And it takes longer for the nitrogen containing substances to get into the lake when an organic fertilizer is used uh, uh, then when an inorganic fertilizer is used and explain why. So you should uh, watch our video on the uh, fertilizers if you don't remember. So the organic uh, fertilizers uh, obviously uh, takes longer for the nitrogen containing substances to get into the lake when the organic fertilizer is used. So why does it take longer? Because this uh, uh, organic fertilizer is insoluble, it's less soluble. What we were uh, comparing before, uh, the inorganic fertilizers, so artificial fertilizers are more soluble. So make sure you use that uh, vocabulary in your answers. So nitrogen compounds in the plants are made available for the main crop after plugging, okay? And um, plugging is the process when uh, you uh, deliver more oxygen to the soil and describe the role of the microorganisms in this process. So what's the role? Okay, so proteins, amino acids will be broken down, ammonification process of releasing the ammonium compounds will take place by nitrifying bacteria uh, and nitrates. Uh, will be absorbed into roots, okay? Because obviously we need the oxygen for the uh, for the microorganisms to undergo the processes. Hence the plugging here. So explain why it is important for the farmer to reduce the leaching. So reduce leaching. What is uh, leaching? Leaching, okay, is the process when the uh, nitrates will be washed 
away, okay? And they will be uh, far away from the reach of the plant roots. So why we want to reduce this? So less nitrates in the soil for the next crop. So plants will grow less well because of the lack of the night, uh, nitrates. So we will then need more fertilizers. And economic reason, obviously, it's for using less fertilizers. So uh, if you use more fertilizers in this situation, you could cause uh, eutrophication. And the plants absorb a number of other nutrients from the soil, including phosphates, and describe why phosphates are needed by a, a growing plant. So the words, what is phosphate needed for in the plant? So phospholipids, cell membrane, ATP, DNA, RNA, uh, NADP, for example. Applying very high concentrations of fertilizers to the soil can reduce plant growth and use your knowledge of the water potential to explain why. So remember, movement of water from higher water potential to lower water potential. So higher water potential and lower pot water potential in terms of the fertilizers. So if you got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fertilizers, the water potential will be lower in rather than in the absence of those or small amounts. So what will happen in this situation, the soil has a lower water potential, so what we've done here, okay, and the roots will have higher water potential, so the osmosis, the so movement of water will take place from the higher water potential in the roots to the soil where the water potential was lower. So finally, eutrophication. So eutrophication is the process by which nutrients concentration increase in bodies of water. It's caused by leaching. So remember when uh, there was lots of rain, okay, that dissolves the uh, fertilizers and they will go away from the reach of the plant roots and will get into the uh, waters, the lakes, for example. So uh, here we've got the process of eutrophication, which is incorrect so the order of this is incorrect and your job is to put it in the right order so you can pause the video now right ready so let's do it together now so a uh, low concentration of the nitrates of course it's a limiting factor for plants and algal growth so leaching will cause to the increase the concentration of those nitrates in the water so algal bloom will take place because the upper layers of the water will become uh, populated. So light and the, uh, light absorption, okay, will be prevented uh, to take place at the lower depths of the, for example, lake. So light is now a limiting factor. So the plants below will die. So we will need now the growth in the saprobionting bacteria to decompose those plants. And those bacteria will need oxygen. So the oxygen now will be reduced in the water because it will be taken by those saprobionts which are decomposing the plants. So oxygen is a limiting factor. So the organisms like fish, for example, will die because they have no oxygen for the aerobic respiration. So that will cause less competition for anaerobic respiration and anaerobic organisms decompose dead materials, more nitrates, toxic wastes will uh, make the water portrait. So obviously eutrophication will take place. So here we've got the uh, Question on eutrophication, so describe how the presence of nitrates in a lake might lead to death of fish. And those are the key uh, words that you need to now take from our sorting activity. So increase in algal bloom, which we've seen. Light is a limiting factor, so less photosynthesis, hence plants are going to die. If they die, we need more decomposers now to deal with those which will need, obviously, oxygen. So 
if you got increase in the bacteria which 